March 11, 2011, 2.46 p.m. Eastern Japan is rocked by a massive earthquake and tsunami. Traffic in and out of the region grinds to a complete halt. Rescue crews struggle to reach those who need help. The challenge, in the midst of an unprecedented disaster, how could responders reach victims with food, clothing, construction equipment, and other desperately needed supplies? The solution? Telling people which roads still functioned. Honda's Internavi car navigation system analyzes data collected from its 3G network of Internavi equipped vehicles to determine the state of the roads in real time. This allows users to have the most up-to-date information about traffic conditions all the time. In the hours after the earthquake, Internavi data analysis revealed key information including which roads had been used since the disaster, which roads had no traffic in the last 24 hours, and which roads remained in continuous, uninterrupted use. The data was further processed into a visual map, letting anyone understand the constantly changing traffic situation. March 12th, 10.30 a.m., just 20 hours after the disaster, Honda became the first to release its road data in open source format on the web. The data spread widely thanks to Honda's Twitter account, homepage, and reports on a variety of media, letting residents and responders in and out of affected areas more easily. Information about the roadways that connect all of us together spread from person to person in the blink of an eye. Internavi data played a key role in helping Google launch the Google Crisis Response page. The Internavi data provided Google users with relevant, up-to-date information that greatly helped during the crisis. Later that year, at the Tokyo Motor Show and other events, Honda showed what a key role roads play in helping residents rebuild and recover. Using this data in a laser projector, Honda created a documentary illustrating the gradual spread of road repairs in the 20 days following the disaster. Each point of light represents the motion of an individual and was combined with the tweets of those who were helped by their information. Internavi's real-time data collection and distribution proved so useful to so many in Japan during the disaster that subscriptions left after the quake. Usage rates increased dramatically as well. Flexible and responsive. That's the power of Internavi.